It has been way too long, but now we're back working on the 52 Chevy. Hey everybody, welcome back to Auto Anatomy. I'm Sean, thank you so much for joining us. Today, we're gonna be back working on a special project. It's very near and dear to my heart. So as many of you know, the most special vehicle in the Auto Anatomy fleet is our 1952 Chevy Styline Deluxe. Um, it was purchased brand new by my great grandfather and driven until 1966 when they got a new 1964 Chevy. What makes this car even more special to me is that it's the one that my mom learned to drive on and it's been in our family for its entire life. So it's truly like a one owner, um, kind of a one owner car. It was used on our family farm um, to drive across the, the fields of North Mississippi. Um, it was target practice for a, a rogue marksman. And, you know, finally it, uh, it was parked next to the barn and um, ultimately became a home for a family of armadillos. We pulled it out of our, the field of our family farm in uh, 2011 and have been slowly bringing it back uh, to life and hopefully making some tasteful changes along the way that improved the overall drivability. It got modern Jaguar XJ6 front suspension, it got disc brakes, it got uh, Chevy Blazer rear axle, but the biggest improvement of all came by way of an LS family engine swap. Under the hood lies the 5.3 liter and 4L60 from a 2000 uh, Chevy full-size pickup. And it's putting out, I think it's about 280 horsepower when it's brand new, which is a far cry from the, uh, the paltry 180 horsepower that the, the 216 inline straight six made when it was new. So doing the engine swap made the car infinitely more drivable. It made the car infinitely more drivable, but there was always one issue that left me feeling a little uneasy when driving the car. The factory truck oil pan remained on the engine when I did the swap. And although the rear sump facilitated uh, doing the swap, um, it protruded down below the cross member by like a couple of inches. And this just left me concerned that at some point I'd be driving along and I'd, you know, hit something, hit a speed bump, hit, uh, you know, a rock or something. And it would just like rip the whole bottom of the oil pan off and either, you know, just drain all the oil out on the road or even worse, cause some engine damage to the, the new engine. I had always planned on doing the, the swap to a different pan, but you know, life just gets in the way. And we started the project in Memphis and then between the move to Memphis to, from, and between the move from Memphis to Colorado Springs and then to another home in Colorado Springs, and now with the upcoming um, move to, to South Carolina, um, we just decided it was high time to go ahead and bite the bullet and fix this project once and for all. So now enter Max Speeding Rods. They are primarily known for their budget coilover kits and uh, turbo assemblies, but they have recently developed an engine swap oil pan specifically for people like me who have retrofitted an LS family engine into an older vehicle. So the pan just showed up this morning. So let's get it open and see what it looks like. All right, so inside the box we have brand new oil pan gasket and it's a nice multi-layer aluminum with the, uh, the rubber around it. Customer service card. It's really, really well packaged. is the oil pickup and that's a nice looks like yellow cad zinc plated pickup let's find this one-handed So opening the box, we're greeted with a beautiful pan that really does look like a factory casting, um, as well as clearly delineated packaging. It's got all of our hardware in one. We've got our oil pickup over here. Um, and like I said, even the, the gaskets and bolts. The inside of the pan is very clean and I don't see any metal shavings or debris, but I'm still gonna spray it out with uh, like some brake cleaner just to make sure that uh, that it's all clean inside. Um, same goes with the oil pickup and any part that'll spend its life inside the engine. 
Now installation is going to vary depending upon your particular application, but if you're in the market for a pan like this, you probably have a good idea of what all is expected in order to replace the pan. So I'm not going to go into a ton of detail on the physical replacing of the pan because your particular application is going to be a little different, but I will highlight some of the steps along the way. And of course, this is the perfect time to do an oil change on the vehicle because we're gonna be draining all the oil out of it anyway. So before you get started, make sure you've got uh, fresh oil and filter. Okay, so coming under the car, you can really get, appreciate now how much the uh, truck oil pan hangs below the, the cross member. So this is pretty level and I'm thinking it's hanging down like two or three inches below the cross member. So let's get the oil drained and pop the, uh, the pan off. So we're gonna need a 10 millimeter to get the oil pan bolts out. And then I think that's either a 14 or a 15 that goes from the, uh, the transmission belt housing into the engine oil pan. Okay, so I got the old oil pan out and I think this really illustrates the difference between the old factory GM truck pan and the new max speeding rods engine swap oil pan. So this is probably five inches deep and this is probably eight inches deep, seven inches deep. So it's really gonna give us, I think, just the right amount of clearance so that the new oil pan doesn't hang below the cross member anymore. Let me clean up the, the inside of the new pan, spray it out with some brake cleaner, and then we'll get the uh, new pickup on and put it back in the car. The next step is gonna be installing all of the, the various components onto the Max Speeding Rods oil pan. So on the side here, we've got the little bypass here, and we're gonna also have to install the oil filter adapter. So we'll get all of these installed and tightened down, install the new pickup tube, and then put the pan in the car. You know, I have to say, I'm really impressed with the quality of this product. Um, this really does feel like a factory casting, and it's machined really nicely. Everything fits well so far, so great job, guys. So the only hiccup that I've noticed so far is that when I installed the oil filter adapter that came with the kit, um, I had picked up, you know, my, my typical Wix 51042 oil filter for this car and the thread size is different. So I think this is meant for a, uh, I know there's two different types of filters that can come with LS engines and this is for the one with a little bit larger diameter hole. So no big deal, I just unscrewed the original one from the factory GM pan, screwed it right in place, and we'll keep on going. All right, I've got the new pan installed, and this really goes to show the difference that that Max Speeding Rods engine swap oil pan makes. If you remember before, the original oil pan was hanging like two or three inches below the cross member, and now if I come up level with the cross member, it is absolutely flush, if not even just a little shallow. So that's perfect. That is absolutely gonna fix my biggest concern with driving this car. All right, the last step is going to be topping it up with oil and i'm a fan of let's see royal purple and you know they're not a sponsor of this channel i've just really become a fan of their products over the years i found that they've worked really well and have you know provided some really good increases in fuel mileage that i've seen in real world testing um, but you know royal purple if you're interested all right moment of truth it's full of oil let's make sure it's got oil pressure So the Max Speeding Rods um, LS engine swap oil pan part number, what was it? Uh, OSP LS1 V2 fit perfectly. And as you can see, gave us a ton more ground clearance and no longer um, is the heart of the car vulnerable to like an errant rock or a speed bump. And I'm finally able to, to cruise in comfort knowing the oil pan is tucked tightly up against the cross member. Listen, if you have swapped an LS series engine into your classic ride or you're thinking about doing so, 
Check out Max Speeding Rods and you can enter coupon code ANATOMY, A-N-A-T-O-M-Y, all lowercase, for a 15% discount on your entire order. I was super excited to check out the oil pan for Max Speeding Rods. I want to say thank you again for providing it for us. And I'm definitely going to check out their coilovers, turbos, or connecting rods on a future auto anatomy project. And you will see it here on this channel. Listen, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, hit that uh, subscribe button and click on the bell to be notified when new videos come out. Another way that you can support uh, the channel is by swinging over to our merch page and I'll put a link up there. Um, and we can pick up cool auto anatomy shirts. So thank you again for watching. God bless. We'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,